Hello everyone. Welcome to Smart Tech. This is Kiran. Today's topic is about splitting a single variable into multiple variables using SAS. What is going to be discussed in this topic? In this topic, we will try to understand functions like count w and scan and also I will explain how to create a macro variable and also brief explanation for array and do loop concepts concepts will also will be done so what are we going to do in this topic in this topic we will be taking a variable in here it is shown as var equal to a b a c a d a e a n g o this is a one single string with multiple words in it by using the knowledge of the concepts we have read we will be trying to create multiple variables as shown below now let us quickly look into scan function what does scan function do scan function whenever we have a variable with multiple words in our case the multiple word variable is name where it has value of smith john and if you want to extract one particular word by position we can easily do that by using scan function say here we are used scan function where we have mentioned our variable name and the position of the word which we want here we have said we want the first word that is smith and we also need to mention our delimiter delimiter is not mandatory but it's a good practice to mention delimiter and also there is one more example where we can extract the second word by using the scan function once we proc print we can see that we have extracted the first position word and second word by using scan function and mentioning one and two here now let's quickly look into count w function to understand count w function what i have done is i have created a small data set with lot of words but again this is one single variable the variable name is string and string has values like a b a c a d a e a n g o within one string so count w function helps us to find how many words are there within each string count w function is straight forward all we need to tell it is what is the delimiter here and let's look into the proc print of count w function count w function here tells us there are six words in this case there are two words in this case there are three words and in the last case there are four words now let's quickly look into macro variable creation we can create macro variable by using an into clause and by doing max on our count w function we can get the max value into a macro variable but whenever we create macro variable we always need to keep one thing in this mind is to use percent put and see the value here we can see the value in the log as 6 whenever we create macro variable we can also add some more words to our value by using cats function here i am concatenating the value word value with number 7 i am sorry the number 6 and finally i am using percent put statement and getting the value 6 as my as my micro variable value so to summarize macro variable creation can be done by using an into clause and also we can add 
whatever value additionally into our macro variable by using cats function here we are using cats function and we are adding a string to another value which here comes to as 6 and finally this becomes value 6 now let's quickly look into array and do loop here we are going to talk about array by using an example here the example we have is of data set abc where we have three variables number one number two and number three and once we have created this data set the goal is to add 50 for each variable number one number two and number three variables so instead of adding num1 plus 50 num2 plus 50 num3 plus 50 what we can do is we can create an array syntax of an array is very simple and straightforward it starts with keyword array followed by an array name and we need to mention all the elements in it here the elements are the three variables which are in our data set and also the number of elements have to be mentioned next to the name in parentheses so I wanted to tell one key important thing here there are three elements in this array the first element is num1, second element is num2, third element is num3. This is very very important to understand and why it is important I will tell you in a second. Once we have done our declaration of array, what we do is we can use a do loop wherein we say do i equal to 1, 2, 3 and then we do new i equal to new i plus 50 and so what's happening here so we are making an index variable here and then this index variable is followed by our array name so this is new one which means it's the first element in the array that is num1 and first element in the array num1 and we are adding 50 and then it loops back to 2 and now we are going to reference the element 2 and then we are going to add 50 and then 3 and the third element here and then we, third element here and then we are adding 50 and finally we end the do loop and let's see the results the results are clear we have added 50 to all three variables this array can be represented in a different way and this array code has three differences the first one is asterisk second one is having a dash between variables or the elements and third one is dim function or the array name let me explain each one of them asterisk here means we don't know the number of elements whenever we don't know the number of elements all we need to do is put an asterisk here and whenever we want to reduce the writing and we know the number of variables we can manipulate by using num1 to num3 it will take all the values or all the range of values which fall between them in this case it's num1 num2 num3 you can give from num1 to num100 num1 dash num100 so that instead of writing out each one we can easily reference in this fashion and dim new function dim function on array name will take out the maximum 
maximum element value in our case it is 3 arrays can also create new variables if the variables are already not there and we are doing something like this then it creates six new variables this code is little bit different by having a dollar symbol which means the variables which we are going to create are character variables let us bring our knowledge together for a data set and how we can solve it here the data set has two variables the first one is id num which is of not much interest to us second one is string one this string one variable has multiple words in it in our case they are fruits let's see how we can break each one of this word into a separate variable we want variable like fruit one for mangoes fruit two for oranges fruit three for apples same here mangoes one fruit one fruit two fruit three fruit four fruit five the first step in this process is to create a macro variable and this macro variable is on max of count w on string one in this case our max words are there for id num 300 for string one one two three four five six seven and we are also concatenating it it with the word fruit so our macro variable value becomes fruit seven the final step here is to make an array the name of array which we have given is fruit and we have given here asterisk because we don't know how many elements are there but we are going to tell it is from fruit 1 to fruit 7 we got this value from this macro variable once we define array from fruit 1 to fruit 7 it is going to create seven new variables that is fruit 1 fruit 2 fruit 3 fruit 4 fruit 5 fruit 6 fruit 7 and also here i have mentioned it as character which means those are going to be character variables and we have also mentioned a length statement so that there is no truncation and let's now look into do loop in our do loop what we are doing is we are saying do i equal to want to count w string one and then fruit i equal to scan string i so here what we need to remember so once this i is equal to one we are going to reference the first variable that is fruit one and it will have the value of scan string one so let us look this for id num 100 here so when this when it starts looping here for id number 100 it has string one has three words so do i equal to one two three fruit one will become mango fruit two will become oranges fruit three will become apples so once this is done it goes to round two round two again as we have only five words it will be do i equal to one to five then this fruit it becomes fruit one equal to scan string one one so it will pick up mangoes then fruit two it will become banana then three will become jackfruits four be will become apples five will become mulberry the important point to remember here is even though we have seven variables in the first case we are able to populate it with values only t 
till fruit 3 what does that mean is fruit 4 to fruit 7 will be null same is in the case of id num 200 here they have string 1 has 5 words so our uh, fruit 1 to 5 only will be populated fruit 6 and 7 will have null values let's also look into for uh, id num 300 here do i equal to 1 to count w string here that value will become 7 as there are 7 words the fruit 1 will have peach fruit 2 will have pear fruit 3 will have pineapple fruit 4 will have plum so and so forth and fruit 7 will have nasberry so this is how we are going to populate our variables let's quickly look into the output from here we can see the output looks cl very clean for id num 100 we have fruit 1 2 and 3 populated with the values and remaining values are null whereas in for id num 300 which has seven values all the values will be populated till now we have been looking into very static code it's time to move to sas studio and run some code first i am going to create the table here we go the table is created here i have id num and string one as our columns you can see that string one has a lot of words in them in the next step what i am going to do is i am going to create the macro variable I am going to quickly run this so you can see the value of macro variable is fruit 7 and I am going to quickly run the final code along with the proc print here we can clearly see that everything has been split up very nicely what I would like to emphasize on this topic is we always need to understand concepts and then we need to solve the problems. This is the only way we can try, we can understand better and we can learn any programming language better. In our case, we have used various concepts like arrays and do loops and functions like scan, count w and also macro variable creation to split a single variable to multiple variables. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.